New Outlander map of latest filming locations launched. A bumper New Outlander map has been released by Scotland's tourism body with almost 40 filming locations now included in the guide. To celebrate its launch, an international group of Outlander fans road tested the map on a 10-day tour of the locations featured in the latest series of hugely successful time-traveling romance. Among destinations on the tour was the The Signet Library in Edinburgh, one of seven new locations in the third series of show which was used to portray the Governor's House in Jamaica. Glasgow University, which doubles as Harvard University, and Craigmere Castle in Edinburgh, which portrayed Ardsmuir Prison, are also included. Kelvin Grove Park replicated a park in Boston while Bakes House close on the Royal Mill was used as the set for the print shop run by lead character Jamie Fraser. Tweedale Court, also on the Royal Mile, featured as the marketplace where characters Claire Fraser and Fergus reunited, and in Ayrshire. Junior Harbour was used to portray the docks at air. The Outlander-inspired tour was organized by travel agent Spirit Journeys in partnership with popular U.S.-based fan podcast, The Outlander Podcast. A total of 28 fans toured locations across Scotland used in the show and sites linked to the real history of the Jacobites. Jenny Steele, film and creative industries manager at Visit Scotland, said, as well as being the land that inspired Outlander, Scotland remains an integral part of the series and we are delighted that so many new locations have been used in the third season. With almost 40 locations now featuring in our popular Outlander map, there is so much of the country for set jetting fans to explore and we hope even more will do so by following in the footsteps of Claire and Jamie. Vincent Guerin, director at the WS Society, owners and operators of the Signet Library, said, hosting the Outlander television production was very appropriate for the Signet Library, the building being home to the writers to the Signet, a uniquely Scottish category of lawyer whose name comes from the Sovereign Seal in Scotland used since at least the 14th century. Outlander's character Ned Gown is a lapsed writer to the Signet, or W.S., so even though in the series Lord John Gray was hosting his guests at a governor's ball, for us it felt like Ned Gowan W.S. was indeed throwing the party. Ginger Wiseman, who co-hosts the Outlander podcast with Summer Reynolds, said, since our show began in 2013, and with the success of Star's Outlander, people have asked when or if we'd be doing an Outlander-themed tour of Scotland. After a couple of years, we started to take them seriously and now here we have our first pod abroad tour. We are so happy for other fans to experience the magic of Scotland, the physical and spiritual home of Outlander and to see some of the history for themselves. Season 4 of the internationally acclaimed show is currently filming in Scotland. Based out of Ward Park Studios, Cumbernauld, Stars and Sony Pictures Television who produced the show have recently announced that two more seasons have been commissioned. Julia McLean, owner, director of Inverness-based travel agency Spirit Journeys said, We specialize in organizing tailor-made itineraries for a wide range of clients around the world including Scotland, so working with the Outlander podcast team was a great fit for us. We know how much Scotland means to Outlander fans, and we feel sure the Pod Abroad itinerary will deliver in terms of history, landscape and locations. We hope the fans return home with a renewed and enhanced interest in all things Scottish.